In 2011, following the um, earthquake sequences that had taken place in Christchurch, um, it was became apparent that the um, the building that we're in now, Matarami, was 17% um, MBS. And so the board made the bold decision to evacuate the building overnight, which led to us finding alternative accommodation for students to, um, to undergo teaching and learning. In 2012, WSP were engaged by the Ministry of Education to design the master plan for the school, to set the long-term strategic context for the college, identifying the priorities and the sequence of the future development. A critical part of the project was uh, retention and strengthening of the existing building facades and the retention and restoration of the vestibule and the school's formal entrance. Original principal's entrance, which is the lobby, the bifurcated stair and the vestibule space itself, were disused at the time that the building was closed. The restoration of this space involved all of the materials, so the tiles, all of the timber work and all of the plaster work were repaired and reinstated where they were missing. And this space now forms part of the modern learning environment of the school. The main block now has four levels instead of three. Um, and a big part of the project was not just building for today, but also building for the future. So thinking about role growth uh, and thinking about the specialist spaces, so music, food technology, uh, special needs and art, uh, they're all a, a big part of the new project. Uh, it was really important to the school to reimagine what teaching and learning would be like in the 21st century and beyond. Wellington East Girls College was an incredible challenge for us in the structural team, taking what was a vulnerable, earthquake-prone brick building and not only being respectful to the heritage, but the needs of all the teaching spaces and turning that into a modern, uh, highly resilient, low damage design building. Our job was to provide a building that was not just co-compliant and life safe, but to meet modern, low damage design standards. The building services installation at Wellington East was far more complex than your typical school project. And it incorporated um, extensive ductwork systems, passive ventilation, active heating systems and uh, all of that had to be balanced against very complex user requirements and very real uh, restrictions on site. Early contractor engagement assisted WSP in defining the scope of the enabling contracts. This resulted in an optimised program to mitigate and manage construction and health and safety risks, to minimise disruption to the teaching and shorten the overall construction period. When I started here, I remember walking through the corridors and seeing photos of what the old facade looked like. And when I started, it was all under construction, so you couldn't see anything. And I was so excited about being able to see it because the photos were beautiful and they didn't even do it justice. It's such a lovely part of our school. And I'm glad we got to keep that part of the history. Since it was built in 1924, the history of the school is a history of earthquakes. Uh, and the strengthening and changes that have occurred since, since that time. Um, we're just that next layer of history uh, and the character of the school has been retained, which I'm incredibly proud of. Uh, and that legacy of history for the school and the kind of community is really important.